Okay, so this is the first part of our photo album tutorial. Now, what we're going to do is um, we're going to, instead of creating our um, index.php template uh, first, we're going to create the album.php file. Now, like I said before in the introduction to this tutorial, you can embed the album.php file anywhere um, in any web page. And I'm going to use index.php as a full HTML um, based file, uh, not HTML extension, but um, I'm into the habit of using PHP extensions. We're uh, going to use our album.php um, file and create that first, then embed it into index.php later, just to show you how it can be Im embedded. So inside our album.php, we're going we're to need to uh, use HTML and head and body tags, um, as you usually would. Uh, just simply because um, we're going to be using inside head, we're going to be using uh, a JavaScript uh, source, which is going to be the lightbox.js file, which is available to download um, from the Lightbox website. Okay, so inside our body, we're going to start our um, PHP code. So the first thing we need to do is establish um, the page that we're going to be including this file in. You'll understand why this is uh, a bit later on and why we have to use this. Now I'm just going to call this page um, and we're going to use the um, server set of variables uh, and I'm using php underscore self. Oh, underscore self. Now what this is going to do, let me just demonstrate, it's going to echo out, um, go to album.php, it's going to echo out the um, current file name. Now this is uh, album.php. Now if we were embedding this inside index.php, this would be index.php. Then we'd know that all the links would be able to have to go back to index.php. Uh, and album.php is already included, so we sort of skip back and forward um, to each file. But like I said, you'll understand what that um, what that's all about a bit later on. So we've set this up. Uh, what we're going to do now is create some settings that we're going to use. Now there's only one. Uh, at the moment, if you wish to add more you can and this is column, the amount of columns that are going to be displaying uh, photo wise um, and this was all explained in the introduction which is why I created the introduction okay so we're going to need to establish um, the directories that we're using now if we look inside our folder, let's go back you can see that we've got um, a data uh, folder here and inside our data folder we've got a folder called thumbs. Now these are generic, um, they're never going to change. Um, the album uh, album names and amount of albums are going to change. So for now we're going to use the thumbs and the data uh, folder and we're just going to store them so they can be easily used later on. Now if you decide to change the names of these it means that in the rest of the code um, it will also change. So it's a lot easier in the long run. So the base folder is called data you don't need any forward slashes, backslashes, anything like that. And our thumbs folder is called thumbs. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to get the um, album from the get variable. I'm just going to say get album as the comment. And I'm going to call this um, simply get album. And this um, is going to be used later. Uh, when we click on an album link, we're going to uh, be using the get variable and a variable name called album. And this is going to allow us to select inside an album rather than. Um, right, let me just explain. So, uh, initially, what we're going to be doing is looking inside this data folder and looking at the album names. When we've clicked on an album inside PHP, we're going to want to then grab. Um, the pictures inside. Now to do this we're going to need the name of the album uh, inside a get variable so on the, ver on the um, album that we're looking at we can list them. Um, it's hard to explain but later on you will understand. So these are just very basic variable settings. Um, chop and change the names of them if you like if you find mine hard to understand. Okay, so the first thing we need to check for is whether an album has been selected. Um, if an album hasn't been selected, we're going to list the albums. If an album has been selected, we're going to show the fo photos within that album. So that pretty much sums up that line there. 
Okay, so we're going to do if, and we're going to say uh, an exclamation mark saying not doesn't exist. Get album. So it's this uh, variable here. So if uh, the get get action um, has not been posted, then we're going to echo out. Bold, select an album, and we're going to have a paragraph break after that. So at the moment, um, as our code stands, let's refresh. Select an album. Nothing's been uh, selected. If I was to say album equals, and remember, this name here is equal to this here. If we were to say album equals something that won't be echoed. So uh, instead what we're going to echo out here or display here is the photos inside this album called something. Now, obviously we don't have an album called something but this is all going to be checked later on. So back to our album.php file. So we've echoed out select an album. Now what we obviously need to do is display the album. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a handle and this is basically going to handle the directory that, directory that we're opening and we're using open dir here this is a function uh, inside php and this is base so our base folder name is data so from this file here we're opening this folder to look inside so pretty simple yeah um, okay down to the next line what we're going to do now is we're going to create a while loop so i'm going to create a while loop with a uh, rounded parenthesis and then i'm going to use the curly brackets um, for the block of data inside here now um, what we're going to do here is this is just a general um, just a general uh, how can I say it safety check if you like uh, inside PHP I'm going to say while false or doesn't equal and we can do this the other way around to make it a lot easier I'm going to say while file oh, file equals read directory and we're reading the handle so this is the directory that we've opened and the file it, um, because we're using a while loop we presume that we have um, more files more than one file inside so we're using a while loop to loop through each individual file in the directory so our file equals read directory handle so we're now reading the contents of the directory and we're going to say um, we're going to Coat this in parentheses, and then we're going to say doesn't equal equal false. Okay, so that's just a general check um, to avoid any errors um, inside uh, this uh, piece of code here. Now, um, what we can do is we can echo out file, and let's just append a break onto that so we can see our directory listing. So refresh. Now you can see here we've got our album names. So we've got album 1, 2 and 3 that we've already created inside here. I created album 3 in the uh, demo itself. Um, let's go back to our page. Then we've got our thumbs folder and we've got these two, which are just directory standard. So this is current and this is one directory back. Um, so we don't really want to show oh a dot for the current directory, two dots for the uh, directory back and thumbs because thumbs is not an album. It's somewhere to store the thumbnails for our albums. So all we want to do is we want to condition inside this while loop to only show album 1, 2 and 3. So how do we do this? We need to obviously use an if statement. Uh, this is where if statements come in massively handy while you're looping through. So we're going to get rid of this uh, uh, echo. I'm going to put inside an if. Now what we need to do um, is we need to say or check rather for whether it's a directory now if I have any files inside um, here so let's just create a text document called text.txt you can see that when we go back to our code let's just echo out again you can see that we've got text.txt now we want to limit right the first limiter we want is to get rid of uh, or show only um, we only want to show um, folders we don't want to show this thumbs folder 
we also don't want to show any um, of these dots here so the first thing is we want to show only folders then we want to show um, we don't show thumbs and we don't show these dots so we're going to be left with just our album names or the album folders so to do this like I said before we create an if statement and we're going to say if is underscore directory uh, and this basically checks if it is a directory a valid directory or not and obviously this is our first check to show only folder names and um, we're going to get rid of uh, this text.txt being displayed so if is dr base then we're going to append a forward slash on and we're going to say file now basically what this is doing is saying it is directory inside data forward slash because this is how we use directory structure so data and because it's data because we've called it data up here so data which relates to uh, this folder here and then the file inside so this is technically a file when we're when we're looking through this is a file 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 um, is this file a directory that's all we need that's basically going to say is it a directory and then under our if statement we're going to echo it out only if it is a directory um, which we've done in our if statement so that's that pretty much done okay so we can test this I'm just going to um, create a new our new block under our if statement I'm going to echo out file and I'm going to put a break onto that now watch this change bear in mind we've still got our text.txt document in there watch this change okay so our text.txt document has disappeared now what we need to do is we need to get rid of these dots uh, this is just as simple we come back to inside our if statement we're going to say a double ambassand so and so is it a directory and file doesn't equal a dot so we're saying only display if it is a directory and the file and the file we found doesn't equal a dot and well, I'll show you that one first so our dot's gone and you've probably guessed already file doesn't equal two dots let's save that and refresh that's gone now we just need to get rid of thumbs uh, and this is pretty much just as easy so we're going to say and file doesn't equal now what we could do here is say thumbs um, but obviously up here I've got my thumbs variable with my thumbs folder name in it like I said if you need to change this folder itself the name of it then you can just change this and the whole co code will be updated so all we need to do is use the thumbs variable there and that's gone so we're back to what exactly what we wanted album one two and three and that's how easy it is to um, filter out what you don't want to be shown um, in an image okay so now what we need to do is we need to link um, these albums to um, displaying our actual album and what we're going to do now is because we're working all on the same page here we're using this if statement and we're going to use an else underneath here and basically this else is going to mean that an album has been clicked so if an album hasn't been clicked and no get variable is present then give the, the user the option to select an album if this is false this is going to be true so if they haven't clicked or sorry if they have clicked then we display what's inside the album um, so let's now obviously we're going to leave I'm going to leave this to the second part of the tutorial because it's uh, dragging on a bit um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to format this um, out so we can display it obviously with a hyperlink so I'm going to echo I'm going to create my um, quotation or speech marks or whatever you want to call them and I'm just going to start creating a um, link so we've got a href equals something and then inside here is going to be our text or our album names now bear in mind you want to use single quotations rather than doubles because uh, if we're using doubles you can even see how the color changes 
that inside context to sort of like a black color rather than the consistency of this brownish color. Uh, this is because then we're essentially saying get rid of, um, well, let me show you. Uh, this is the start of the string to echo out and then this would be the end rather than this. So uh, this is a common error so make sure you are using single quotations inside doubles. There are other ways around this uh, like I said before about the backslash um, you can do this but it looks complicated and for the sake of the tutorial we're going to stick to singles. Okay so um, inside here obviously we're using file and that's going to echo out the file name. You can uh, the album name from the folder. You can already see now we refresh. We've got links. Oh, let's append a break onto here. Refresh. Okay, so we can click these, but obviously they're not doing anything at the moment. So we need some somewhere to link to. Now, like I said before, we don't want to link to album.php because we are using this embedded inside another file. So if this was working within index.php, then album.php would just come straight back to this file. It would cancel out all formatting inside index.php and we would be left just with the base script, which we don't want. So we're coming up and we're using the page variable, which is the um, PHP self um, from the server set of variables. So page and album equals file. File is the album name. It's also the folder name. Album equals the folder name. So now what this is going to do is it in the else we're going to now check um, or we have already checked that this is equal to something and now it's going to check inside this file which is one of these albums. So what we're doing is, uh, again, up here, we've checked whether it's been clicked. It hasn't been clicked, so we give the, the uh, user the list of um, albums from this line, which is repeated in the while statement. Then when they're clicked and this variable here is present, we come onto this else and we skip out this whole part here. So it's quite handy to have it all in one file and it's easy and you don't have to switch pages and it keeps it all nice into one uh, file. If it was longer than this then you would probably break it up but for now uh, it's fine. Okay so let's just check out how this works. Inside here I'm just going to echo an album has been clicked. And this is just going to demonstrate if we refresh. See we've got no get variable at the end of here. Usually we would have album equals something like I said before but we've just got our album.php file. I'm going to click on album one. An album has been clicked. Album equals album, forget that part, that's just uh, you know the code for the space, album one. We go back, we click on album two. An album has been clicked. Album, again forgetting this, two. And the same for three, you've surely guessed that we're going to have album three selected. Now from this page here, uh, inside our code obviously, we're going to then dive into the album that has been clicked. And we're going to display the images inside. So it's starting to pull together. Um, we're not nearly done, we're halfway through it in fact. Uh, so in the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to work on this else statement, or this else um, block of code to then echo out the images inside or grab the images inside of this of these specific albums and show them to the user and then obviously we're going to um, integrate the lightbox functionality with that so um, I'll leave you to um, go over to the next part and uh, get this uh, photo album complete